nuclear power, keeping your lights on for years to come. The world is at a turning point in the drive towards net zero carbon emissions. Around the globe, innovative technologies that are built to last are leading this transition. In the UK, nuclear power is playing a prominent role in meeting these environmental ambitions. Low carbon nuclear power is helping to deliver a cleaner, greener future for you, your family, and your local community. Together, CGN and EDF are committed to playing our part in safeguarding future energy supplies and driving down carbon emissions. We're introducing the UK HPR 1000, or Hualong pressurized reactor, to the UK's nuclear energy sector and propose to use two of these reactors at Bradwell B in Essex. The UK HPR 1000 is a safe and secure, state-of-the-art reactor design that has been developed by CGN. The reactor is designed to help keep your lights on for the next 60 years, while helping to meet our collective environmental commitments. One of these reactors would provide enough electricity to power approximately 2 million homes. The safety of you and the environment is important to us. Since 2017, the HBR 1000 reactor design has been undergoing rigorous safety and environmental assessments to ensure it can be deployed safely in the UK. The Generic Design Assessment, or GDA, is led by independent nuclear regulators, the Environment Agency, and the Office for Nuclear Regulation, and they have rigorously scrutinized the design to ensure safety during normal operations and potential fault or accident conditions. Nuclear security is a fundamental part of the GDA. Security measures designed to protect the plant from physical and cyber risks are carefully considered before approval is granted. Protections against environmental impacts are also considered to ensure our power plant can stand the test of time and continue delivering low carbon energy for generations to come we've considered the impact of climate change effects for the lifespan of the reactor. The UK HBR 1000 design has now been accepted by the nuclear regulators, putting us one step closer to our nuclear technology playing a leading role in a low carbon future. This decision is not site specific. Our design can be adapted to meet the needs of a site such as Bradwell B. Any changes made will require site-specific permissions from regulators and government to protect local people and the environment. How does a pressurized water reactor work? Simply put, nuclear power is created through a process called nuclear fission. Energy is released from uranium in the heart of the reactor during the fission process and is used to heat pressurized water. The pressurized water then passes through a steam generator which in turn produces the steam, which turns a turbine and generates the electricity that we all use to live our lives. Waste from a nuclear power plant is categorized depending on how radioactive it is. The amount of high-level waste generated by the UK HBR 1000 is relatively small and will be similar in terms of volume and level of radioactivity to that from other pressurized water reactors. Our proposals for the reactor include a period of safe on-site storage for higher activity waste and spent fuel before it is transferred to a proposed National Geological Disposal Facility where higher activity waste will be stored hundreds of meters deep underground. Before we can build our reactor on site, we must obtain a site license from the Office for Nuclear Regulation and relevant planning consent. We also need several permits from the Environment Agency. This will give local people and communities the peace of mind that our work meets the highest environmental standards. With decades of experience behind us, we know what is required to deliver a safe, efficient and reliable power plant. If you'd like to find out more, please visit www.ukhpr1000.co.uk.